guys, Mr. Anderson here for Science Lab 7, and today we're going to be talking about scientific measurements. A measurement is an observation made by comparing something to a standard. So it's more than just saying, oh look, that's big, or, or that's small, or, or that's really light, or that's really heavy, or it's really hot in here, or it's cold in here. Okay, when we measure something, we're comparing it to something that we already know. So it's things like... Um, uh, feet or inches or yards here in America, right? Or 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 it could be meters or or centimeters or millimeters or kilometers or or ounces or gallons or pints or quarts or liters or tons or grams or kilograms. These are all standards, right? Like if I told you that, oh, I I grew up a long ways away from here, you know, you might have lots of different ideas as to how far away I grew up. Okay, maybe you might think it's a few blocks from here. Okay, maybe you might think it's a few miles from here. You might think it's in another state, or another country, or even another planet. But I digress. Uh, yeah, so, but when we compare something to a standard, we get a much better idea of things, right? It's more accurate, all right? So if I said that I grew up 161 miles away from here, then you can really get an idea of how far away from here I grew up. Another thing is that those standards are the same no matter where you go. You know, if we measure a mile here in Illinois, it's going to be the same as if we measured a mile in Texas, or we measured a mile in Florida, or we measured a mile in uh, Washington State. Right? It's the same mile. It's a standard mile. So today we're going to be talking about the metric system specifically. And really we're going to be looking at good things about the metric system. I mean, you might say to yourself, but Mr. Anderson, there's nothing good about the metric system. It's like every year we gotta learn about the metric system and I hate it. It doesn't make any sense. Well, let me tell you, there are some great things about the metric system. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna share some of those with you. Good thing number one is that it's the same all over the world, right? Like most of the world uses the metric system. There's only a few countries that don't. And we're one of them. All right, so the other countries that, use, that really don't use the metric system are uh, Burma, Liberia, and of course, us. How strange is that, right? How strange is that? So it's the same all over the world. And because of that, it makes it really easy to share information if we use the metric system, right? So if we want to talk to uh, someone in Germany, or we want to talk to someone in England, or, or South Africa, or wherever, if we're using the metric system, we're really speaking the same language. And that's pretty cool. Also, good thing number two about the metric system is that it's a decimal-based system. All right? It's, it's a tens-based system. And that's good because we're already used to that. Right? We're used to counting in tens. Right? Our money system is a tens-based system. And the metric system works the same way. So if you can use money, and if you have ten pennies, you could go to the bank and exchange that, and you could get one dime. Yeah. And if you had 10 dimes, you could go to the bank and exchange that and you could get $1, right? So 10 of these gives you one of these. That's sort of the, the basis. That's a tens based system, a decimal based system. And that's what the metric system is. And that's pretty cool, which is really different from our standard system here in the United States, right? It's, that's really strange. Like if I said, all right, you know, how many inches are in a foot? Well, I'm sure you could probably tell me, yeah, there's, there's 12 inches in a foot. We might not know why. You might not be able to tell me why there's 12 inches in a foot, but I'm sure you could tell me that there are 12 inches in a foot. But what if I said, okay, how many feet are in a yard? You say, well, that's, that's easy. There's three feet in a yard. And you're absolutely right. But then we get into some higher stuff, and it might be a little more confusing if I said, all right, well, how many yards are in a mile? Yeah, a lot of us have trouble with that one, right? 1,760 yards in a mile. And why? It just seems like a really strange thing, right? All right, which brings us to good thing number three about the metric system. Good thing number three about the metric system is that the metric system, it is easy to convert. It's easy to go from one uh, kind of label, one kind of unit, to another kind of unit. If I tell you that I traveled 15 kilometers, but you say, hey, well, how many meters is that? I can tell you right away. It's 15,000. I don't have to uh, figure out the conversions. I don't have to do fractions. I can just, you know, use the metric system, it's a tens based system, so I can multiply or divide by 10 to go from one label to another label. And that's pretty great. How many millimeters are in one centimeter? The answer is 10. How many centimeters are in one decimeter? 10. How many decimeters are in one meter? 10. How many meters are in one decameter? 10. How many decameters are in one hectometer? 10. 
How many hectometers are in one kilometer? 10. You get the idea? 10 of these gives you one of these. 10 of these gives you one of these. It's, it's, it's a tens based system and it makes it really easy to convert. We don't have to remember that, you know, there's 12 of these in one of these and three of these in one of these and 1,760 of these in one of these. It's always 10. So if you can remember the number 10, hey, you're halfway to learning the metric system. It's pretty great. Now the other thing that you really need to know that really helps you when moving in the metric system is, is remembering sort of the, the order that the units go. Okay, when we measure things, we put different labels on them, we put different units on them. And if you can remember the order in which those units go, like which one's the biggest and which one's the smallest, it really helps you to move around in that measuring system. So in the metric system, here's how it goes, right? Uh, we're gonna start with kilometer on top. Now there are things that are bigger than a kilometer, but we're gonna, we're gonna stop at kilometer. So kilometer is gonna be the biggest label I want you to know, all right? And then underneath that is a hectometer. Underneath that is a decameter. And then you have a meter, okay? And then underneath that's decimeter, and then centimeter, and millimeter. As you go up, each one of these things is 10 times bigger than the previous one. And as you go down, each one of those is 10 times smaller than the one above it. Okay, it's a tens-based system. So if you can multiply or divide by 10, you can easily move around in the metric system. And that's pretty great. That's pretty great. Now, to help you remember this order, we're going to come up with a little mnemonic device, right? A little uh, play on words to help you remember that. We're going to take the first letter of each of these words. Uh, and that K H D M D C M, and we're gonna make a sentence with those words, right? So we're gonna have kids hate doing my dog's crazy math. Kids hate doing my dog's crazy math. Kids hate doing my dog's crazy math. Kids hate doing my dog's crazy math because my dog's math is crazy. All right. So there are three great things about the metric system. Number one, hey, it's the same all over the world. It makes it really easy to communicate. Number two, it's a decimal-based system, which is something we're familiar with, right? It's a tens-based system. And then number three, it makes it easy to convert, right? It's just 10 of these gives you one of these. 10 of these gives you one of these. So there you have it, the metric system. It's really pretty cool, not terribly confusing, and it really helps us in science. It's the kind of thing where you might not think that you're gonna use it, but if you ever go into any science field, it's what we use. If you go into the medical field, man, it's what you're going to use. So the metric system, it's a good thing. So hey, signing off for Science Lab 7, it's Mr. Anderson saying, stay curious.